well, you can't claim to, to know God and be able to do this. You can't claim. Who are you? No, no. Who are you? YouTube, it's your girl Jai Chili, and welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, then as always, I appreciate you for all of your support. And if you are new to my channel, then you are just in luck for a limited edition time sensitive moment. You can join the Chai Chili Sub Club. If you move quickly, all you have to do is click that subscribe button right now. And you can be a part of the one and only Chai Chili Sub Club. So, in this video, I will be talking about something that I honestly, I honestly, oh my god, y'all don't understand. It's really, actually, y'all don't need to understand. Because they're like, shut up, give us the video. We don't have time for you and your hot flashes. I know, I know, I know. In this video, I will be talking about something that honestly, I feel like not a lot of people talk about, especially in today's time and age or whatever you want to call it. This is something that to me, to me, is really prevalent. Today, I'll be talking about Christianity and being a millennial. Honestly, I've heard it from a lot of people that we are actually not considered millennials, we're considered Gen X. I don't really care, okay? Like, I'm 22 years old, and this is how I feel about being a Christian, okay? This is, that's it, that's it. Call me what you want, I don't care. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about what it is to be a young adult or a teenager or even younger than a teenager and what it is to claim Christ or what it is to be a unapologetic Christian. What it means to me to be unapologetically Christian is not caring what anybody says or thinks about me and my relationship with Christ. If you follow me on IG and when I post things like I'm in church and I'm loving it or if I post Bible scriptures or if I post motivational things and that irritates you, I'm literally giving you a free pass to unfollow me. I will even help you. All you gotta do is comment below and I will literally unfollow you for yourself. I will block me out of your life because I don't care. You never know who is watching you that you are the only person in their life that knows Christ. I literally had somebody DM me couple days ago or like this week and it was just like hey I have some questions and you're honestly the only person that I know that like actually has a relationship with God or ha or has or, or knows Christ like that and to me that's such a blessing because that is my purpose on this earth as much as I may not stripe it on my chest day in and day out and that if you if you think that's the issue that's your own opinion but as much as I may not stripe it on my chest day in and day out that I'm for Christ or Christ is literally or Jesus is literally the center of my life. God is the center of my life. I have only created here because of Christ. If God is not in my life, I have no purpose. None of this matters. The YouTube channel doesn't matter. Instagram doesn't matter. Well, my dreams and aspirations don't matter if I don't have Christ in my life. But as much as that happens, sometimes I feel like if people can't see that, then that's an issue. But the fact that this person reached out to me and asked me that question is literally testimony to tell you that the more you show who you are truly the more people you never know could agree with you god doesn't make any mistakes right god doesn't make any mistakes so he didn't make a mistake when he made me this way he didn't make a mistake when he made me like the things i like i like the shirts i like i like the music that i like and i know that i'm probably stepping on some thin ice right now the way i'm saying it and and honestly again that's your own opinion but what i'm saying is you cannot put a Christian in one bubble and say, if you don't act like this, you don't walk like this, you don't talk like this, then you're not Christian or you're a hypocrite. Everybody has their own sins, whether or not they're plastered in front of everybody or kept in, si in secret. This is, this is the, you were born into sin. This is the world we live in. You are not perfect no matter what you do, say, talk, walk, or do. You are not perfect. It used to be so hard for me to want to talk about God or to want to proclaim God in my life because it wasn't cool. Because I didn't have people around me that were doing it. And as a young child, especially for all my young people that are watching this, being accepted or being cool in school is actually probably your biggest battle that you're dealing with right now in life, right? Being accepted, finding yourself. So it was hard for me to do so because 
it wasn't it wasn't cool a lot of people weren't doing it if anybody is sitting here judging you about the way you walk talk dress look smile dance anything like that to come and turn around and say well well you can't claim to to know God and be able to do this you can't claim who are you no no who are you I literally would tell that person Go to the mirror, look at themselves, and ask themselves, are you God? Are you God? You cannot judge people. I feel like a lot of Christians, old and young, pick and choose what parts of the Bible that they want to follow and want to attest to. You'll say, love one another, but then judge people for being who and what they feel is right for them. You can't pick and choose. Honestly, I'm not anybody's saint. I'm not anybody's pastor. I'm not anybody's prophet. I'm still learning everything. I, I'm gonna be frank, I don't read my Bible as much. But if there's anything that I know, I know who created me, I know who I am inside, and I know my and I know that my purpose in earth is more than just these earthly things. Like I have a mission and that's why I'm here. My biggest message today is literally to be yourself and be unapologetically Christian. Love God, love who, how he created you, the way you walk, talk, dress, I just spit, I'm sorry. The way you walk, talk, dress, the things that you like, he created you. What sense would it make for God to create over 8 billion people and everybody act the same? I wait. I like a lot of different things. I like dressing certain ways and I can switch it up. That's just who the colorful Christian that he created me to be. So I don't listen if people try to tell or try to down anybody for and that's that's part of the thing that can honestly scare people away from claiming God in their lives or for talking about God in public is because people will sit here and judge you for your things that you've done, for your past, for how you, simple things and how you dress, how you walk, how you talk, and they'll judge you for that and then you'll feel like you can't come to Christ, you can't go to church because you have this septum in your thing or you have this colorful hair or, or you, you, you did this in the past, like nobody can judge you, nobody, nobody can judge you. It's only you and God. God is my judge and I'm only comparing myself to who I was yesterday. Other than that, I'm not worried about what anybody else is doing. I'm focusing on myself. But more importantly, there's no way that I can't claim Christ in my life. He is my creator and if I can share the fact that you can be Christian and still be cool, then honestly, I feel like I've done my purpose. Do the best that you can in this life that you're given. So whoever's watching this, if you're dealing with the same thing, you keep being you, you keep you you keep being unapologetically Christian, you keep loving God and loving all the different things that he made you like. Don't worry about anybody else, whether it be in your family or your friends, don't worry about it. Keep being you and you going to well. You feel me? <laughs> so honestly guys, as I said, this is was a tea time. I may have gotten a little serious, but honestly, life is serious. We have a lot of things that we're dealing with. A lot of people are dealing with so many battles that you don't, we don't even know about. So sometimes, I know I'm a funny person or whatever, but sometimes, like, you just, you have to talk about the real things. And honestly, like I said, I'm taking suggestions about what you guys want to hear me talk about, any topics that you feel I should talk about. Comment them down below. If you like this video, then make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Honestly, I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate all the support that I've been getting lately. I really, really appreciate you guys. If you have any problems or if you're dealing with anything or you want to talk about anything further, ah, comment them below. I'll get right to them. I literally comment on literally every single comment that I possibly can come across. If I've ever missed your comment, comment below. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. But I comment and reply and talk to all of my subscribers because they're supporting me. Why would I ignore them? What sense does that make? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on all my social media and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Peace, love, and blessings. <laughs> see you guys later. <laughs>